What's going on, Motor City Sports Talk? We back in the building. If you ain't heard, um, the Brooklyn Knicks actually traded Timothy Maskoff, uh to the Charlotte Hornets with for, with two first round, two second round uh, draft picks, and uh, they got Dwight Howard back, the expiring contract. Um, we back, Motor City Sports Talk. We in the building. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. Y'all know what it is. Um, if the Nets can trade Timothy Maskoff, I believe the, the Pistons could trade Reggie Jackson. Now, I've been telling y'all how untradeable Reggie Jackson has been. The last couple of years, but I believe Reggie Jackson has a similar contract to Moscow. If Moscow was due about 34, 33 or 34 million dollars over the next two years. And basically, uh, you know, Brooklyn, I mean, Charlotte is one of those teams that um, want to be bad. You know, they want to, you know, they trade Kimba, they want to tear it completely down. And, um, and they want to be able to get high draft picks, okay? They another franchise that that want to have high draft picks, but guess what? They can't. They don't draft top talent. Adam Morrison, Cody Zeller, Frank Kaminsky. I mean, pretty much you name it, they didn't got it wrong for the most part. But, um, but yeah, man. I mean, if they could trade Moscow, man, we could we could trade uh, Reggie Jackson. Now we might not get the player we want back, you know, in, in return, but um. But please, yeah, he's on the contract for uh two more or well, three more seasons. I thought it was two more seasons. He's on the contract for three more seasons, for sixteen about sixteen sixteen million, a little bit over the seventeen million, a little bit over eighteen million. So yeah, that's gonna be a tough. Uh, uh, well, no, he got two more years left. Excuse me, it's this year, and then next year. Yeah, he got two more years left for seventeen to eighteen million per year, a couple more million than what Moscow had, but. Um, to look at the bigger picture is that um, you know, he's going to be uh, you know, he's going to be an expiring contract next year for somebody, and then they're gonna be able to get that cap space. Same thing that Charlotte was thinking, you know, uh, what Brooklyn was thinking about unloading Timothy Moskov contract. And they get a lot of rid of that contract. It took on the White contract. The one Dwight, Dwight got one year left. Then they cl- it's a clean slate. They got room for two max deals, but you got to have a team willing like Charlotte that's willing to take on a guy. Um, like Moscow and like Reggie Jackson, which if they can take on Moscow, who was as useless, you know, useless as a car without a motor, I mean, Reggie Jackson still could play a little bit, boy. He can help somebody, you know, and, you know, you got to find that team that wants to be bad and eventually think they could be players of free agency. And, um, you know, who, who would that team be? You know, who who would need him? That's, that's a tough call, man. That's a definitely, definitely tough call. Um, you can look up and down the NBA – um, you know, it's tough, you know, because obviously, you know, would you want Schroeder? You know, I mean, Schroeder could be a possibility. Maybe you could squeeze Reggie Jackson to Atlanta, and eventually that, you know, that contract going to be off the books, but I, I'm pretty sure they're going to want more, or if they want Reggie Jackson at all, you know. So that's going to be a tough sell. So you got to find a team, and right now it's the best time to find them in the next 48 hours before the NBA draft um, to find a suitor that could take Reggie Jackson if that's truly what they want to do. And we know they have the general manager in place, being Ed Stefanowski, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I'm not sure where you can move this guy to, you know, to be honest. Uh, you know, who's looking for a guy like that? I mean, you know, it's tough. I mean, Atlanta would be a destination. I think they want to be bad. Um, you know, the Cavaliers could be a destination if LeBron moves on, but got to wait to after the draft and probably pretty much after free agency opens to really figure it out. Um like I said, it's not too many suitors, man. It's a clo- pretty much a closed circuit. Do you want to, you know, do you want to trade for Kimball Walker? You know, trade Reggie and Kimball Walker and, and a couple more assets? I mean, would that work for you? It could, you know. I mean, obviously, if you're going to trade Kimball Walker, I mean, trade for Kimball Walker, you have to trade Reggie and something else. And I'm not willing to trade a draft pick, though. You know, not a first-round draft pick for Kimball Walker, but... You know, if you could make it work with Bullocks or, or Johnson or, or, or whoever it may be, Henry Ellison, whatever they got that's worth something, that may be something that you can explore to move. Orlando, um, they move Alfred Payton. You know, they maybe they looking to be bad and be higher in the lottery. Maybe they will take on the contract and give you whatever back because Aaron Gordon is a free agent. So I think it's a few suitors out there that will that will be willing to be um, our version of the uh, Charlotte Hornets that's going to be able to take on this contract. I just saw this today and saying, oh, if they could trade Timothy Moskov, I mean, we can get rid of Reggie Jackson. I mean, we can. You know, like I said, Orlando, um, um, Orlando, uh, Cleveland, if LeBron leaves, 
there's some there's some spots for him, man. There's some definitely spots for 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 him and some guys that's trying to clear some cap space in the new future, possibly Phoenix. Um, you know, so it's 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 a, it's a room out there for him. You know, it's some teams that that want to create cap space and want to be bad, um, and then eventually you know want to build it. You know, the way I want the Pistons to build it. But right now, the Pistons are trying to do it on the fly and put something together. Um, and I ain't mad at it. You know, you want to try to win and get a winning product down there at Little Caesars Palace downtown. But the whole premise of this video was saying if they could trade Timothy Moskov, I mean, shit, we could trade Reggie Jackson. You know, seriously. You know, that's serious consideration, a serious thought right there. Um, not pretty not pretty sure who's going to be the, who's gonna be the trade suitor, but there's it's some teams out there, like I named, that could be looking – you know, for expiring contract next season. And I think ne if they don't trade Reggie Jackson next season, they seriously want to trade him next season, he's going to be a high commodity because he's going to have an expiring contract. You know, and he's going to create a whole bunch of cap room for us or somebody else. So that's the thinking among, amongst that because my staff got a similar contract. It's about a 2 or $3 million dollar difference in their contract, you know, for the next two years. So at the end of the day, Moscow can't even hoop. He can't even get a rebound, a block a shot. You know what I'm saying? And Reggie Jackson can put the ball in the hole, and, and he got more ability than Moscow. And you talk about the durability, shoot. Moscow don't get off the pond too beat to see if you he durable or not. So that's not an issue. But uh, it's more to see sports talk. Just dropping another video. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this, man. Definitely appreciate all the support and all the love for the channel. It's getting continue to share, share, share. Subscribe if you hadn't, haven't. Hit the bell icon so you know we upload and go live. Yeah.